Roy Hill is a company that has a limited uh, port capacity of 55 million tonne. So when we were setting up the business, um, we had to uh, set it up so we're financially prudent. Our vision is to future-proof our business, we need to embrace technology and that is what we need our vendors to come on that journey with us as well. So to do that, our vendors need to understand our business and understand our vision. One thing we noticed in the early days, um, and this is the benefit of actually having something uh, in real time condition monitoring of your equipment, we actually had a, a track failure on one of our excavators uh, in the pit, and this was a 5600, very important to us. It's one of our, our primary dig units, um, and, and the track actually snapped. And where it snapped was actually on a shot as well, which also made the recovery of the equipment quite difficult. Now with uh, ReadyLine, we're able to monitor alarms on the equipment or sensors on the equipment, and we set parameters around that that will actually give us alarms in real time. So, for example, if a machine is actually operating at a higher temperature, um, we will have that feedback to our control down here, and they'll be able to actually alarm the uh, operator that, hey, look, we, we need to uh, get the, the equipment checked out before it actually does fail. Data in itself, unless it's visualised correctly and digitised correctly, is very, very difficult to interpret. The online ready line data is an ability for us to learn. Whether that's a human being making a decision or a, a learning or an algorithm making a decision, that decision needs to be informed by more and more data. And we need to be good at understanding how much data goes into that so that we can learn from that and make that right decision over and over again from a business process perspective. What I like about Winco is, you know, we've embarked on this proof of concept trial in terms of asset health on excavators. We've received nothing but support from Wenco personnel in terms of getting us to our goal of enabling ReadyLine systems and getting the asset health information, etc. So from my perspective, the support that we've got, you know, every question we've asked or every discussion we've been in, we've got nothing but support from Wenco people around how we could do this, how we could help and all that sort of stuff. So I don't feel it's just me trying to drive an agenda. I feel more it's a kind of partnership where we're working together to get to an end cause in terms of how this will work going forward. From what I've seen, and I'm, I'm particularly talking about the ReadyLine product at the moment, because that's the bit that I've seen most of, the functionality and the improvements in that product are exactly in what we're after in terms of um, being able to input, being able to generate virtual alarms, all those sorts of things that we go into these meetings asking for have seemed to be already thought about in terms of what's going on and you can see that product maturing to exactly what fits a business need around what we require around asset health. To summarise to me there's a bit of foresight about how these products are maturing, where they're going and what their outputs are and then the day-to-day -day service in terms of what we require and helping us do these sorts of things has been top notch.